So, we've got our match lines drawn on. We've got the cone in with the electron block in place, such that it is. You are usually going to be at extended distance, as we said before. And you're going to do, to the best of your ability, you're going to line up using the inferior edge of your superclad field and the medial edge of your medial tangent to line up this electron block. Okay? You only have to treat a fairly shallow area. The IMC chain runs right along the sternum. It's not very deep. You don't have to treat with photons to get to this. Just, a, just an electron field should get it. So your two match lines are set up. Also, I have the gantry angled to demonstrate our the detail of our illustration. This shows what we're doing is we have the gantry angled in order to come in a little bit with that electron field you're basically trying to get up underneath that tangent field. If you have a tangential field that comes in thusly, and then you treat straight down with the electron field, you've got the possibility of a little triangle of area that is not going to receive much treatment at all. So you're going to angle your gantry so that your electron kind of reaches up underneath that match line so that you get some dose up underneath that tangential field as well so that you're not underdosing uh, a part of that node chain that runs right in through here. So, gantry angled reduces cold spot. You're going to go extend a distance a little bit too. Our SSD that we ended up treating this person was at about 103. Much closer and we'd run her into the lateral aspect of the cone. That's not a good thing. It will destroy the confidence your person has in you that you're not going to run into her with this piece of equipment and impale and kill her. So, extended distance allows you the room that it takes to clear with your patient. As we said before, the first thing you want to think about when you have an electron cone versus a human being is safety. You want to be as safe as possible and as accurate as possible. So, extended distance is usually required because the cones are so big because the fields are so long. So, what we wanted to get out of this is where are our match lines? How does it fit? Inferior aspect of your superclav, medial aspect of your medial tangent fits in there like a Lego piece, and then you can treat at extended distance with the gantry angle to get up underneath the tangent. You will see that illustration again, maybe more than once. See if you can remember this. That's why the gantry is angled to reduce the cold spot. And that concludes our breast.